Hi there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading next 48 hour reading. Hope you're doing really good. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for just like, shares, and subscribe. If you're really needing a reading that is a little bit more personal, then check the description box below. And let's get started. So I like to be an open channel for your angels, your spirit guides, and your higher self to come through and give messages here that resonate with your highest good. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to burn some white sage. You can also join me on TikTok for an extra oracle if that's more your thing. I don't know why you can never really see this, but it is, I promise, it was lit. I don't know why you can never see that smoke. <clears throat> okay, a few more times we're going to and then we're going to get a Celtic cross spread for you. bottom of the deck the high priestess this is like she knows she feels one who knows one who feels one who has possibly secrets possibly upset with somebody from the past someone that that it feels like immature wild maybe keeps getting in trouble as i have justice as a challenge <clears throat> There's the page of wands. This is good news coming in. Possibly regarding someone making better decisions. Sound judgment. King of Swords dealing with a lot of experts, authority. Somebody, uh, it's, it's a lot of discipline, a lot of obedience. Seven of Cups. Not seeing things exactly correctly. But you're still feeling victorious. You're still feeling like, um, well, okay, I think that this page of wands is related to how you are feeling with the four of wands. So you're feeling like you're doing or you're in your purpose. And the environment is another four, and you certainly are. That's usually a message to me that um, if you have any doubt that you're, you know, why your path is unfolding the way it is, um, know that it's doing it for a reason. You're divinely directed, supported, protected, guarded, and there's something that's going to heal. It's coming across as no more bad decisions by this um, Knight of Wands energy. Three of Cups in reverse. So somebody overdid it or maybe you were overdoing it. And therefore can't see really clearly or this could be about gossip this could be about fearing some gossip what is the outcome too for the outcome you are getting away even if you're stuck in place does that even make sense <laughs> you're getting you're moving away from one way of thinking Freeing yourself to a, um, I think this is information or something that gives you freedom to go out off um, thinking something different. So maybe where your thoughts are headed. The chariot um, in reverse is something that's not moving for some reason, not going forward. But here in the future energy, you have the five of swords in reverse, which is really, it's kind of like a good energy to get. <clears throat> Because I would feel like you're either coming out of feeling conflicted or it's a conflicting time. I love the 4-4 four, four there. That's beautiful. So we are going to draw cards to clarify. <clears throat> okay, so... Since we have the chariot, which is not moving, and this is the next 48 hour, there may be something that's not going forward. Maybe it's travel plans or something that's not moving. 
because that is another card that can mean the same thing as the chariot in reverse. Something's not moving forward, but then you have good news here. So the past energy, king of swords, um, Aquarius energy. Perhaps the six of swords is also what you're looking forward to. Like you can see yourself getting um, to smoother times. Tell me about this king of swords energy dealing possibly with authority or some kind of other external system or power or someone who knows I have the king of pentacle in reverse it could be talking about an aquarius or taurus energy here past energies <clears throat> this is usually somebody who was head of a commitment that has kind of backed out of a commitment for whatever reason Tell me about this uh, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. The Ace of Swords in the reverse. You feel like you're not getting the whole truth out of a situation. Two cards that mean I don't feel like somebody is telling me the whole truth of a situation. Possibly Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or Taurus energy, or Sagittarius. Somebody's really disconnected from their emotions. I'm going to move this up. Someone's pretty disconnected from their emotions. Um, it can be a way someone is conditioned. This could be truth and clarity. Getting truth and clarity like is a challenge here because we have a lot of cards that represent you trying to find the truth, but someone not giving it to you necessarily. And then here's the good news. So what is this good news about then? That's what we'll ask about next. Because intuitively, um, intuitively you don't trust someone. Tell me about the page of wands. You feel accomplished. That's another thing that's coming out with the Four of Wands is you feel accomplished. Transformation in the reverse. Not wanting to change. I don't really know why. But resisting a change or a transformation done with somebody's antics and you're walking away from something where somebody hurt you really bad or betrayed you, feeling like you didn't get the truth. So you're you're walking, but there is a need to have closure to wrap something up. I feel like there's still another fight for you and whatever this is about, and you win it up here. So something may be at a standstill. But you have many options to choose from. So we're walking away from one situation that somebody possibly is having issues with themselves changing or transforming. With Gemini energy and Scorpio energy. Death card in reverse. So what's the Seven of Cups about? Why are there a lot of options? But for some reason, can't see clearly all of them. Since that is a challenge, too, seeing something clearly is kind of a challenge. Okay, hard to control a situation. Some things are maybe out of your control. It has to do with this person that represents the immature, wild energy that's not going anywhere. That's the energy of somebody who doesn't have enough discipline or they don't have enough obedience to change and transformation. So that's the issue then with them. <clears throat> put it in the hands of a specialist do you see how we have king of swords king of swords surrounding the choices 
So if there's a way to go about this, it's like uh, either way to go about this, it's got to do something by the book. Or somebody could be taking something that ha has them not seeing th something clearly. We have to learn more or maybe this person is learning. That might be why they're getting the Three of Pentacles. They are maybe learning, changing, transforming. They are finally learning or they are learning. Tell me about the Five of Swords in the reverse. The Master in reverse. Controlling one's emotions. I'll find out why, but um, that's pretty much about controlling one's emotions. Okay. Tell me about why it's hard to control our own emotions or what this master energy is about. Yeah, okay, so somebody is really trying to mature. <laughs> There's a rebirth, allowing somebody to have a rebirth, a tra change or transformation. There's a huge opportunity uh, for them to do just that. The Ace of Pentacles. Part of their purpose and this is a really uh, good sign for your pentacles, too, by the way. Tell me about the Four of Swords. So what are we taking a time out from? <laughs> things that were revealed to us, constantly getting, like, surprised by things being revealed. It's like that's, we're taking a rest from this moon energy here. Taking a rest. So it might come as a shock to you uh, how wonderful this opportunity is going to be. So why is the chariot in reverse? It could have to do with somebody leaving possibly, but having issues with travel. That's another message. There's something that you just know. Wow. 444. Participation. So th this is it. This is meeting their milestones and really growing here because it's... Four of Wands intensified by the Four of Wands. That's twice then. So that's a um, really strong energy for Aries, for new beginnings, fresh starts, second chances. And just maybe some kind of hang up with driver's license issue or, or a vehicle issue, something like that. Um, yeah, this person or this situation is maturing. It's what I've got. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys. That's kind of the messages I'm really getting. Um, there could be a lot of things that it's even talking about, but so there's a temporary pause, a temporary hold. It's part of this. It's part of this. Pendulum reader or a reader. Okay, so, interesting. We have Pendulum Reader. Scrying, rune casting, and dowsing. Scrying's interesting. I like that. I like scrying. Um, Akashic Records. All souls, universal events, past, present, and future. Where you can go mining. Mining the Akash. Augur, spiritual master. Seer, predictions, visionary astrology meaning some knowledge or information might just kind of flip on like a switch in your mind here given to you from soul astrology ancestral knowledge passed down in your dna almost twitter platform spiritual involvements or participation empath extremely sensitive person feels another's emotions and or a reader advisor photographer energy reader so that's what i've got that's beautiful um yeah if you need something more personal or private look that candle went out exactly at the end of your reading <laughs> wow okay so <laughs> something's gonna go out i don't know what it is but it, it's probably the end of an old way or way of thinking that's what i got love and light